Forbes listed 2,668 billionaires in 2022. And in this video, we will talk exactly about the 10 richest people on the Bloomberg Billionaires Index. Let's get started. Number 10. Larry Page Larry Page began his career in a dorm room, like many of the other tech billionaires on this list. In 1995 at Stanford University, Page and Sergey Brin came up with a plan to make it easier to get information from the internet. Backrub is a search engine that looks at how pages link to each other. Page was CEO of Google from 1998 to 2001. And from 2011 to 2019, he was CEO again. Google answers 92% of all search queries around the world. In 2006, the company bought YouTube. After buying Android in 2005, Google put it on the market in 2008. In 2015, Alphabet, a holding company, bought Google. Page put money into planetary resources. After having trouble getting enough money, Consensus bought the 2009 startup in 2018. He put money into the flying car companies Kitty Hawk and Opener. In 2021, Google shares went up more than 50%, which made Page and Brin billionaires. Page had a net worth of $52 billion in March of 2020. Number 9. Steve Ballmer In 2000, Ballmer took over as CEO of Microsoft from Gates. In 2014, he quit. Ballmer was in charge of Microsoft's $8.5 billion purchase of Skype in 2011. Ballmer has the most shares of Microsoft, with 4%. After leaving Microsoft in 2014, Ballmer spent $2 billion to buy the Los Angeles Clippers. Ballmer and Gates lived on the same floor and dorm at Harvard. As CEO, Ballmer pushed the tech company to make things like the Surface Tablet and the Windows Phone, which strained their relationship. Number 8. Mukesh Ambani Mukesh Ambani is both the chairman and the managing director of Reliance Industries. Ambani's father, Dhirubhai Ambani, started a textiles company in 1966 that is now one of India's biggest. Reliance does business in oil, gas, petrochemicals, refining, retail, and the media. Half of Ambani's wealth comes from the 42% of his public company Reliance that he owns. He owns the $410 million Antila Billing Project in Mumbai. Ambani is the owner of the cricket team Mumbai owns. In 2016, Ambani built a 4G phone network in India that has more than 420 million users, and he plans to start 5G services. Number 7. Larry Ellison Larry Ellison was born in New York City to a single mother who was 19 years old. Ellison quit school in Chicago in 1966 and moved to California, where he worked as a computer programmer. In 1973, at Ampex, he met Ed Oates and Bob Miner, who would become his business partners. Oracle is the second largest software company in the world. It has cloud computing programs for Java, Linux, and Oracle Exadata. 2005, 2006, 2008, and 2009 were the years that Oracle bought PeopleSoft, Cybel, Oracle Exadata, BEA Systems, and Sun Microsystems. In December 2021, Oracle paid $28.3 billion in cash to buy Cerner. Ellison has spent a lot on high-end real estate for the past 10 years. The most amazing thing he bought was almost the whole Hawaiian island of Lanai for $300 million in 2012. The millionaire has lived there since 2020. Ellison built a hydroponics farm at a high-end spa on an island. Ellison pays for research in medicine. In 2016, he gave USC $200 million for a cancer research center. Ellison helped Oracle Team USA win the America's Cup in 2010 and 2013. Number 6. Warren Buffett Warren Buffett, who is the most well-known value investor, filed his first tax return in 1944 when he was 14. He reported his earnings from his paper route. In 1962, he bought shares of Berkshire Hathaway, and by 1965, he had the most shares. In 1967, Buffett began investing in insurance and other things. The Oracle of Omaha, Warren Buffett, is a buy-and-hold investor who got rich by buying undervalued companies. Recently, Berkshire Hathaway put money into big, well-known companies. It has subsidiaries in insurance, energy distribution, railroads, and consumer goods. Buffett doubts Bitcoin. Buffett gives away a lot of his money. 
between 2006 and 2020, he gave $41 billion to the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and the charities run by his children. In 2010, Buffett and Gates set up the Giving Pledge. In 2021, when he was 92 years old, Buffett hinted that Gregory Abel, who was in charge of Berkshire's non-insurance business, would take over as CEO. Number 5. Jeff Bezos Jeff Bezos started Amazon.com in a Seattle garage after leaving D.E. Shaw in 1994. His old boss, David E. Shaw, didn't like his idea for an online bookstore. Amazon used to only sell books, but now it sells everything and by 2024, it's likely to be bigger than Walmart. Amazon's purchase of Whole Foods in 2017 and entry into the pharmacy business in 2017 show that it is always adding new services. In 2019, Bezos owned 16% of Amazon. As part of their divorce, he gave Mackenzie Scott 4% of Amazon. In 2020, COVID-19 led to a 76% rise in the price of Amazon shares. After Bezos quit as CEO of Amazon on July 5, 2021, he became executive chair of the company. Bezos made Amazon public in 1997 and after Bill Gates in 1999, was the first person to be worth more than $100 billion. Bezos also has other projects, such as The Long Now, Blue Origin, and The Washington Post, which he bought in 2013. Blue Origin's first crewed flight was done by Bezos, his brother Mark, aviation pioneer Wally Funk, and Dutch student Oliver Damon on July 20, 2021. They flew 66 kilometers and landed safely. Bezos' net worth reached $211 billion in the same month. Number 4. Bill Gates Bill Gates and his childhood friend Paul Allen worked at Harvard University in 1975 to make new software for microcomputers. After this project was a success, Gates and Allen started Microsoft. Through its exchange server, Microsoft, the largest software company in the world, sells video game systems, personal computers, and email services. It put a lot of money into cloud services. In 2008, Gates switched from being CEO to being the head of the board. In 2004, he was put on the Berkshire Hathaway board. He left both boards on March 13, 2020. Cascade Investment LLC holds Bill Gates' money. Cascade owns Deer, Republic Services, Canadian National Railway, and private investments in real estate and energy. Number 3. Gota Madani In March 2022, Gota Madani became Asia's richest person, surpassing Mukesh Ambani. Through the Adani Group, Adani owns 75% of Adani Power, Enterprises and Transmissions, as well as 66% of Adani Ports and Special Economic Zone, 61% of Adani Green Energy, and 37% of Adani Total Gas. In 2009, Adani Power started up. In 1998, Adani Enterprises started to bring in and send out goods. In 1994, India's largest private port, Mundra Port, gave his company permission to build a harbor facility there. Adani, who used to trade in diamonds, didn't finish college. Adani runs India's biggest port, makes thermal coal, and trades coal. In 2020, he bought 74% of the Chhatrapati Shivaji International Airport in Mumbai, which is the second busiest airport in the city. In 1997, the billionaire was taken hostage and ransomed. Adani was there when the Mumbai Taj Hotel was attacked in 2008. Number 2. Elon Musk Musk is the second wealthiest person. Musk became CEO of Tesla after giving money to Tesla Motors in 2004. After buying SolarCity in 2016, Tesla makes devices that store energy, add-ons for cars, and solar power systems. Musk is the CEO and head engineer of SpaceX. Musk's wealth went up because Tesla shares went up by 740% in 2020. In December 2020, Tesla became the largest company to join the S&P 500. Musk was the richest person in the world from January 2021 until December 2022, when the price of Tesla shares fell. On November 6, 2021, Musk asked his Twitter followers if he should sell 10% of his Tesla stock. He did this because people had said that unrealized capital gains were a way to avoid paying taxes. In 2021, he sold $16.4 billion worth of shares. Elizabeth Warren, a Democrat from Massachusetts, pushed for a wealth tax after the news said that Musk didn't pay any income tax in 2018. 
and if you opened your eyes for two seconds, you'd see that I'll pay more taxes this year than any other American in history." Musk wrote on Twitter in response. In 2021, Musk had more money than anyone else in the world. Because Tesla's shares went up and private transactions made SpaceX's official value go up. In November 2021, he had $340 billion. In April 2022, Musk began a $44 billion deal to buy Twitter. Musk was going to spend $21 billion. Musk sold 9.6 million Tesla shares for $8.5 billion before the takeover. Musk gave up on buying Twitter in July 2022. Twitter then sued Musk to make him buy out the company. Musk sued the company back, but he eventually agreed to buy Twitter. In October 2022, he bought about 80% of the business. Number 1. Bernard Arnault Louis Vuitton, Marc Jacobs, Hennessy, and Sephora are all owned by LVMH. Arnault's main source of wealth is Christian Dior SE, which owns 41.2% of LVMH. He owns 6.2% of LVMH and Christian Dior C through Group Familial Arnault. In 1971, Arnault, who was an engineer, took over Ferret Savinel, the construction company that belonged to his father. Ferret Savinel became Ferronel Inc. in 1979. After six more years as Ferronel's chair, Arnault bought and reformed Financier Agache in 1984, selling all of his holdings except Christian Dior and Le Bon Marche. In 1987, LVMH talked him into making an investment. Two years later, he was the biggest shareholder, the board chair, and the CEO. Thanks for watching.